And here we see the processing wrapping up. Um, and you can hear the fan noise in the background to prove it. Um, and it took, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so this can be uh, fairly compute intensive, especially with the oversampling. That is, that's largely um, in, uh, increasing the amount of time it's, it's taking and the size of the resulting data file. But it seems to have run to completion. It should give me a, um, let's see, are we, yes, okay. Yeah, it's going to give me confirmation here. There we go. So it wrote the level 2 file. It automatically opened it. And here we have it in our file manager. And here we have our rasters. So the results are the productivity variables that we just let it make. And here are the uh, 11 row S bands for... Um, excuse me, 10 row S bands for, um, uh, you know, that we, we chose. So, um, you know, we can open one of those and look at it. But one thing we can also do, as we will see here, okay, this is again unreprojected. You'll notice it's uh, sort of struggling to render that out at the very high resolution um, as it swaps all that into memory. Um, all right. This is again the unreprojected data, and it includes the bow tie exclusion uh, on the edges of the swath. Okay. Now. Um, you can begin to tax memory in the computer, so you have to be a little careful uh, about keeping too many files open and so on. What I'm going to do with this one open is reproject this. Okay. Again, with Veer's data, uh, in order for the, uh, the um, reprojection to properly kind of fill in uh, it has a, a you know a bow tie correction algorithm that will fill in these missing pixels appropriately. It needs to operate on the entire swath, so I can't subset this data yet. I go to my raster reproject, as we've seen in uh, tutorials uh, elsewhere. I uh, choose an output directory to folder to put the, the results in. I choose a map projection. I can uh, quickly scroll to equidistant cylindrical if I just want sort of a rectangular pro projection. I could use the WGS84. I could choose North American um, data, 1983. These are functional equivalent. Um, and I run. Okay, so this will. Um, we project all of those bands at um, um, with those that projection those projection parameters and should open a new file. It reprojection writes the data file out to disk as we'll see subsetting does not. Subsetting creates simply an in-memory uh, subset view of an open data file and needs to be saved in order to uh, preserve that subset. All right. Again, with our oversampling uh, having created such a large file, this may take a few minutes.